Around the world, autumn is a time when we connect to our ancestors. Ancestors help us to understand who we are and why we're here. And so it's in our heritage to do that at this time. This has become obscured really recently. And Halloween's a great example of how connecting to our ancestors has completely disappeared out of that festival. And therefore it's lost its meaning and purpose. And I want to bring that back. And I want to create an ancestral journey for people so that they can connect to their ancestors at this time. Now ancient people lived on ancestral land like where I'm standing now. And so their ancestors were all around them and they connected to them on a regular basis. And it helped them survive through the winter, it helped them survive their lives in general. And that's the cue for us. By making an ancestral connection, that can really help us with our lives and lead our lives in a, in a better way. I want to make this relevant to today, so I'm not trying to recreate an ancient festival or an ancient ceremony. I want to make it relevant to us now in the society we live in now. The reason I'm doing this is I've met quite a lot of people who are suffering from seasonal disorder or who feel unsettled at this time. And I think that they're cut off from what this time of autumn seasonal change really means. By restoring that meaning and purpose to the ceremonies and rituals and practices that we have at this time, I think it can support and help that. I'm going to be giving you some tools. I'm going to be holding some ceremonies which you can come along to and join in with and learn how to make that in a practical way, make that ancestral connection. But also I'm going to record some meditations and I'm also going to do some healing uh, evenings where we can gather together and do ancestral healing together and I'll also do offer those at a distance as well. I'm going to show you how to become a time traveller because that's what you need to do to make an ancestral connection. Landscape is also important and I'm on an ancestral land now and behind me are burial barrows where ancestors are actually buried uh, on this land but it's not vitally important to make an ancestral connection to be beside an ancestral land. We've lost our ancestral land in the modern times. We've moved away from it. And whilst coming to sacred places like this is great, you can also recreate that in your own home with a little altar space for your ancestors or in your garden or out in nature in a tree or somewhere you particularly love. What's important is that you ask your ancestors for help. You have an intention. Now that could just be to help you survive and get through the next few months. Or it might be that you have an issue that you, you're being impacted by and you want help with that. When we connect to ancestors, we're connecting to their soul energy and not their personalities. So I'm going to ask people not to bring photographs, for example, to the ceremony. We want to make it symbolic. Ancient people or our ancestors had to live difficult lives and make difficult decisions and some of that stuff still impacts us today. We want to heal that and that's one of the purposes of having an ancestral connection. But we're going beyond the personalities when we make ancestral connection. We're going into the area where love exists, the love that brought them together the people that connected together and loved each other and made your family line, your lineage. Trees are very important. Trees are our ancestors and so we'll be using trees in our ceremony and I'll be guiding you into how to use trees in your practice. It's also very important to have ancestral connection if you're going through a time of grief and loss. And the reason for that is it gives you a bigger picture of who you are in an ancestral chain and that you are in fact part of an ancestral lineage and it can help get over that really hot moment of pain when you lose a loved one to know that you're supported by your ancestors and that you're part of a lineage of love and one of the nicest things to do is to ask for an ancestral blessing when you're going through those difficult times it brings in that quality of ancestral love that it's really nice to feel at those difficult times. So I do hope you can join me for the ceremonies that I'm going to hold. 
and or you can follow the meditation that I'm going to make and also join in the healing sessions that I'm going to provide. Thank you very much for listening.